Welcome to another interesting tutorial about a newly implemented Corio Connect feature. After watching this video, you will recognize usage of mock APIs and how to configure mock APIs in WSO2 API Manager and invoke it via the Corio Connect. Let's start the tutorial. I am Lairo Dayaratna from Corio Connect team. In this tutorial, these main points will be discussed. Introduction to mock APIs in WSO2 API Manager Usage and advantages of mock APIs Explanation about demo scenario and demonstration for it Let's see what are mock APIs and the need to have mock APIs In simple terms, mock APIs provide predefined API responses to the client this API type is provided during the API initial API implementation stage and before providing API to the market. When it comes to mock APIs in WSO2 API Manager, mock implementation endpoint type is used. Also, WSO2 API Manager manipulates these APIs using pre-released API lifecycle state. Next section is about usage of mock APIs. Mock APIs allow users to try APIs without monetization. Also, by implementing a mock API, we can improve it based on customer experience. Importantly, these APIs allow us to capture user insights and suitable monetization schemes. Let's move on to the example scenario with the demonstration. Let's say there is a retail item supplier and they are going to implement a new API with the aim of providing inventory details to its consumers. Since this is the starting point of the API implementation, they are expecting to provide the retail store API as a mock API. In order to achieve this, they are using WSO2 API Manager as the control plane and the mock API is deployed in the Corio Connect. Also, they have configured this setup to publish analytics data to the Curio Insights. Let's see mock API demonstration now. The setup is configured by following the exact similar way explained in the WSO2 mock API documentation. Documentation guide is visible to you now. I will include the API definition used here under the description section. Let's see how configurations are arranged and different ways to invoke mock APIs. This shows how API definition is defined for mock APIs. This is how the endpoint type is specified for the API. We have selected the gateway type as Corio Connect. The API is deployed to the Corio Connect and it is in the pre-released API lifecycle state. And finally, the API is subscribed to the default application. Let's see some example API invocation for the mock API that we define. As explained in the mock API documentation, we can obtain the default value if we want. This is how the default mock API invocation works. We are getting this response as per the values we specified in the API definition. We can also retrieve mock API response by specifying a status code value. We are using prefer header with status code value for that. Another interesting capability is we can obtain different response values by specifying ref values for the same status code. In here, we are specifying ref value along with the prefer header. You can see we obtain two responses for the same status code. 
Finally, if we try to get a response by specifying an unsupported request parameter, the below result will appear. Before winding up, I would like to show some sample mock API insights generated from API invocations. As explained earlier, these details help us to improve and analyze API usages considering different aspects. That's all we are going to cover in this tutorial. Feel free to like and comment your concerns in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.